Good morning. Welcome to my thought for the day. <clears throat> Another lovely sunny day. Isaiah 40. What a beautiful chapter. But right at the end it has uh, beautiful, beautiful words. I'm just going to look at the last verse. Verse 31. <clears throat> Isaiah 40, verse 31. But they who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. When you think about an eagle, when you think about an eagle, how it flies, it doesn't, like many birds, have to frantically have to frantically flap its wings in order to maintain lift. The eagle launches itself off a high crag and floats with its wings outstretched on the thermals. <coughs> it doesn't get tired because it, it, it uses the air and the movement of the air to move around. An eagle, you watch an eagle in flight. <coughs> Perhaps that's something you could try and do today, is uh, Google it. <laughs> Remember the days when we used to go to the, the library to find out about things? But go to, go to the internet and put in, uh, or go to YouTube, put in an eagle flying and just watch an eagle flying. You know, we need to live our lives relying on the air current of God's presence. That's a wonderful picture. And he gives us the strength. Those who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. So the eagle is floating and senses an air current coming up, moves across. The air current lifts it to a higher place. You know, God is constantly lifting us to higher places. The more we walk with him, the more we know him, the more we follow Jesus, the more we read the word. So our life just fills with more and more blessing. Because we live on a different plane. Eagles live on a different plane to land-based animals. We're, we're different. This is the thing we have to grasp. We were ordinary human beings. But when we, when we became Christians, when we turned to Jesus, a new dimension began in us that we can't actually grasp or hold in our hands. But we became spiritual beings. And it is that spiritual being learning to soar learning to move under the movement as the, as the Holy Spirit moves, so we move, just like the eagle moves as the air underneath its wings moves. Occasionally, an eagle will flap its wings, change direction, and perhaps that's some something we could meditate on, what the application of that would be. But we don't need to apply the picture too closely. An eagle is different to other birds. I was listening, I don't know what I was reading, reading something uh, recently that talked about a bird that actually never puts its feet to the ground uh, for most of its life. So maybe for 12 or 13 years, it flies. It doesn't land anywhere. Um, except for the nesting and young and so on. But it never puts its feet to the ground, so much so that when it was first recognised as a different bird, it was given a name uh, that indicated it didn't have any legs because the people who watched this bird never saw its legs because it never touched the ground. I can't remember what bird it was, but it's phenomenal that there, there are birds that spend months and months, even years, never putting their feet to the ground. You know, we live on a different plane 
you and I, as we follow Jesus, there's a different motivation, there's a different experience. And uh, it's, it's fantastic. Let me read the verse again. It's a wonderful verse. But they who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Endurance, ability, strength. Ah, oh, all promised to us by our good Lord and Saviour. Have a great day. And I'll see you again tomorrow. God bless you. Bye-bye.